Hey, what's up? Good evening, creators. Uh, how's it going? My name is Miles. So I'm standing right now in front of this mural that I painted uh, for this restaurant kind of thing. It's called Cadillac Cafe. It's my new car. Pretty sweet, huh? They commissioned me back in the day to paint this Cadillac mural. So I'm gonna paint another mural today for them. So this is gonna be a video explaining step by step how to paint a mural and it's part of a larger theme of how to make it as an artist, how to be an artist, get gigs, make art. So they asked me to paint another one of their logo. Pretty much going to be super similar to this one here. I was painting super free and with a lot of color and joy and love, but I, as I kind of moved, moved into a little more professional with the art, I uh, sort of just kind of wanted to paint that one exactly what the customer asked for. So here is their other wall. There's a van parked in front of it right now. Because look at this, it's got a little hole in the wall. Have you ever seen a hole in the wall? That's one. And so I'm gonna repair it with my stucco patch. And then I'm gonna paint this mural for them, kind of like cafe. This, he's like, paint this. I was like, okay. And so the reason why it's nighttime is because I like to paint with a projector sometimes when I have something to paint like this. So that's why I kind of wait for the sun to go down and then start painting so the projection can shine on the wall. So I'm gonna ask these guys to move their car and start doing the stucco patch for the wall. So let's get rocking here. Oyster sign? So the neighbor is saying he might want something. Let's see if we have it over here. Yeah, this dude right oh, here. Oh, that guy's fun. Yeah, this guy yeah, comes on like this. That you, yeah. Okay, so, so you want something like that? On that poss list? Possibly. Possibly. Sure. Yeah, do you have any business cards or anything? Or mm -hmm. a photo you take? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would love to. Okay. Let's see that. All right, cool. Card to my YouTube. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So it has more of my videos because they're like a portfolio. But it has my number on there. Right there. Yeah, I see. Yeah, six five zero seven seven six zero. I won't say the rest of it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, <laughs> look, we're making a video. What's this? Is Chris. Yep. And the local. So Chris just I, moved in. Oh yeah, we just moved in over here. My in-laws own the place. Uh, it's just a family business. We've only been open for three weeks. So come by, stop at two oh no two nine zero four Freedom Boulevard for La Marea of the Sea. La Marea. Yeah. All right, get some good seafood. <laughs> yes, sir. Awesome okay. seafood, the best. So yeah, and then we might do a little. Post. Hopefully something. Hopefully something. Yeah, but um, I, I just got to talk to the bosses and have them sign off on it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, sounds All right, good. Man. Th nice okay. to meet you, Matthew. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Chris. Yep. Brother Miles. Brother Miles. And All right. So that's how it happens sometimes. So that was the homie Chris from La Marea. A seafood joint here right next to this where we're painting today and you know like once one project just keeps going then some people see it and they say hey whoa what you, you know we need some art and they have another mural in the back that just got painted over because they just moved in here so that's really special so now we're gonna transition and pull up the new design on the computer for the projector and Chris is gonna move his truck right here for us all right, so I'm just opening up the Gmail. Yep. I love that when it just like happens like that. I, I don't know. I'm just practicing keeping the video rolling, you know, but we'll see how how successful that strategy is. Anyway, back to the Okay, so I have this image, you know, I just took a picture of it, drag it. Okay, so then the next tool is this one. It's called Photopea. It's like a it's like an online Photoshop for free so you don't need photoshop you don't need anything you can just download this thing called photopea and you just open a new project yeah i guess it it sort of does need internet okay so this is photopea it's like a sweet free photoshop and we're just gonna drag 
our file in there and there it is and you can go to photopia.com for a new for a free photoshop so then we press this key and now we have it all set up so we can manipulate the controls and look we can like move it around and we're going to project this on the wall pretty soon all right so we're in front of the wall and there's a hole in the wall so we have to repair it so we're going to use our stucco patch and it's pretty much just like grout if you make mosaic so we're gonna mix them up and then we're gonna start patching it. okay so i have some stucco patch in this cup and it's really similar to another video i've made right here where i mix grout so i'm just gonna mix this with some water in order to fill the hole that i have here in the just mixing up the stucco patch like a consistency somewhere in between crunchy and creamy pita butter. And this is a kind of a thick wall, like we're gonna need some kind of thick patch in there. So we're gonna do it a little bit thicker than normal. This is always a nice part of the mural painting process I find because it's like the preparation of the wall. It's really where it's like, it gets kind of like, okay, this is actually happening. And it, a chance to like observe the wall, clean the wall, prepare the foundation. And as I just noticed, I put this stucco patch on. It's like, wow, there was like a car crash like here. Like that's what happened. Like someone just drove their car in. So be careful out there. It's just like a good time to get to know the wall and like set the intention for the project. Like just wishing that this space be blessed and that everybody you know eat good food the neighbors are happy more projects come and stuff like that so now we have the main trick to putting the stucco patch on is that not to try and do it all at once <clears throat> but work it in the heavy stuff first and then come back we'll come back with a sponge and smooth it all out and get it exactly like this texture all right so that's kind of how it works. Like put the stucco down and then come in with this sponge and just kind of flatten it out and just make it all smooth until it's just one flat plane. And then we're gonna need to paint it and color match the wall. And I want to show you my box of goodies. This is a nice supply kit for any aspiring artist or muralist. So look, it's all it fits in this little small bag. On top I have a palette, some papers for the brushes, a palette, and a pencil. Here is where I'm going to have a mason jar for water. Here is all my brushes. Okay, they live, can live in here. It's a mason jar. And then I have all my paints. I have my projector. This nice mirror, pro mirror projector. Really small. Here's the cord. And then all of my paints can fit right in there too. So it's a great little traveling mural muralist case. Just wanted to show you that. All right, so here is my setup. I got my computer plugged in to my projector and there it is projecting on the wall. And there's my paints. So I'm gonna hit the car on this left side and then I'm gonna hit the logo on the right side something like that I think it shouldn't turn out real nice all right so actually I decided to switch up the way it was facing so here's my setup and projector and there it's gonna be on the wall I'm gonna do the car first and I'm gonna hit the logo on the other side So I did the first bit, the car. I outlined it in straight candy red. It looks all right. I can't really tell. I'm definitely gonna need to hit this up again in the day with and hit, yeah, so. Uh, but it's a, it's a good sketch, good start. So I'm gonna do the uh, Cadillac Cafe 
wording on the other side now. I'm definitely gonna have to come back and like straighten out the lines in the day, see the right colors. It's really candy red. Get it a little darker and definitely the color match that stucco patch over there. But now I'm gonna... sides of the Cadillac Cafe mural and that's all I'm gonna do tonight painting at night is sort of fun because it's like oh back in the day when we used to paint at night before permission but you know it's just another muse right the nighttime air no one's around it's, it's... but the one thing about it is it's kind of hard to see the colors so I'm gonna have to come back in the day, fix some of these drips, and I'm gonna leave a note for them. I'm gonna say, hey, good morning, because I'm not gonna be here in the morning, so I like to maintain good customer relations. So I'm gonna say, hey, buenos dias. They're friends of mine. And I'll say, look, I'm gonna come back. I started the mural, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow or the next day to finish it. It's good to keep good relations like that. So, I'm gonna wrap it up now, pack everything up. I also gotta fix the stucco patch over there. But yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? It says Cadillac Cafe. It's, uh, yeah, simple, you know, nice and fast. A couple hour, two, couple hours with the projector, just outlining, that's it. See you next time. Okay, I'm leaving them a note. Good morning. I started painting. It's not done. I'll be back too soon and I'll call you in the morning. Good morning. I started painting. It's not done. I will be back soon to finish. I will call you Miles. Then I left my phone number. It's the Cadillac Cafe. It's pretty cool. It's in Watsonville. Look at that. That's sweet. Nice. Boom. Bye. All right, I'm all done. I'm gonna go home now. So let's talk about let's talk about how to price your work. All right, driving home now. That was good. There's the mural. Looks pretty cool, man. Super cool, man. <laughs> Super simple. Pretty much the exact same thing as the other side, <laughs> but that's all right. So. Uh, I'll show you that other side in the day too. It's especially way nicer. But uh, I've been, uh, yeah, like I said, liking the just um, simple, like not too many colors or just like not even just like the sharpness. Like who doesn't want to paint a red, a sweet red convertible car? You know, isn't that cool? It's like bang, get the candy red car painting mural down. That's I mean. You know, it's a, it's a Cadillac, come on. So that's fun and okay, let's talk about pricing, like how to price our work, like how to give a bid, how to give a quote. So, I mean, one strategy is just ask for as much money as possible. Can't really go wrong there. Like as an artist, like charge for your work, like as much as you can get. So for example, like in this mural, a Cadillac Cafe in Watsonville, California, near Santa Cruz, they're not exactly rolling in cash, so and um, then, you know, there's also, there's like a sweet spot, right? Like what's, what feels good for me? What feels reasonable for me? What feels reasonable for them? I don't know, probably combined. There's also like a way to think about like hourly. That's okay. 50 bucks an hour is not a bad estimate to do mural work. There's also square footage. Some muralists charge for square footage. I believe the going rate is like 20 dollars per square foot something like that so like for example that mural is like 10 by 4 so that's 40 square feet so 20 dollars that would be like an 800 dollar mural anyway that's a little but that's that's the going market current market rate i think it's like 15 dollars an hour uh 15 dollars per square foot so, but 
And actually, I've even heard muralists charge thirty dollars square foot. But again, I'll, you know, it depends. It always depends. That's just like a good base to like throw out people, so people can like kind of consider that it's like, oh, he's not just charging me like a bunch of money to paint like something I don't know. It's good when people can kind of understand like the process. Um, like I said for this one, I just said five hundred bucks. They said no. I said three fifty, and they said yeah. It was super simple, and it's worth it for me. You know, I like I like it. I, I you know I make a video out of it. You know, three hundred fifty bucks, not bad for a couple e an evening and a day of painting. You know, I'll take it for sure. Um, and uh, and then it opened up that other job with the uh, other people, the neighbors. So it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'm driving home now. And uh, I'll see you next uh, little video when we go back in the day and revisit it and probably finish it up uh, within the next couple days here. Peace. All right, so I just called Cadillac Cafe. It's the morning of the next day now. And they were really sweet. They said, oh, you left a note, right? And I said, yeah, I, I didn't leave a note. And they said, okay, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. And that's how it goes. All right, so what's up, creators? Smiles. I'm back at the Cadillac Cafe mural, and it looks pretty good. Now I'm seeing it in the day. I just see a couple sort of drips and uh, some things to kind of clear up. The stucco patch actually turned out really nice. It almost matches the color perfectly, so I'm not sure if I'm going to come back in there with another color or not but i'm gonna get these drips so i'm gonna have to color match to this beige color this natural color and i'm gonna come and clean up all these drips and that's what i'm gonna do right now so when i'm color matching you can see i have all my colors here i'm gonna look for what color can match the best the beige so it looks like it's gonna be a white with some yellow maybe a little bit of gold and i'm just gonna try and Mix the paint till it looks good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna put some white down. Maybe a little bit of yellow. Let's see. Let's take these over there and see how they look. Alright, so this is the color. And yeah, looks pretty good compared to the beige. Could use a little more. I don't know, it's kind of a toughy. Maybe more white. So I'm just coming in and getting all the drips now matching. See this color? Background. Nice match right there. See that? So you can see I've made a really nice match right here with this beige. It totally matches this other color right here. So I'm just going to keep all the stucco patch that I put with this beige. Just kind of dipping it in the yellow, more white. Just kind of hitting it with that white until I can get all this nice stucco patch just all like uniform into the background of the mural. And I got all the drips going so it's just gonna form a really nice background. And the stucco patch is going to blend right in to the wall like there was no hole at all. Alright, there you can see the mural. It looks a lot better now without the stucco patch uh, discoloring. And it looks, you know, almost complete. I, I guess I'd check in with them now, maybe look at my sketch one more time and then, you know, bring them out here, see if they want anything more on it. But it was really a simple just kind of outline of the sketch so I guess I'll just look at my sketch one more time and see decide if I want anything more myself and then I'll check in with the owner and uh, 
see what happens next. Yeah, so I actually decided that I'm gonna do this like nice shadow point on it where they kind of under the car, the shadow. You can see on the design here, it has the shadow. So I'm just gonna hit that with some nice red. And then that'll be the last step of the painting, I believe. All right, so looks finished. I finished it. Looks cool. I'm stoked on it. I like that kind of like pink shadow. I didn't really have like a, a darker purple, so I kind of hit the pink in it. And yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it was a simple project, right? Like just kind of All right creators what's up hey so we're done finished up the mural that's uh that's how it goes sometimes it looks pretty nice i had to kind of talk with the owners a little bit you know that's how it goes they wanted me to clean up some things and actually they ended up giving me the paint on the background so i didn't have to color match which was nice and uh yeah real simple nice mural i'll take you over to the other one just to kind of get a feel for the whole scope of the project here so there's that nice Cadillac Cafe right there, and I don't know, I think I started the other video. This one was a little bit kind of more involved here. Simple, same idea. Kind of had this one with the black background first, and that made it like a little bit more easy to get some of these details. But yeah, all, all good. So, yeah, it was nice working, working with you. Cool. All right. Okay, take care. Bye. Peace.